Hey guys, if you're buying a home in the Silicon Valley, you're gonna pay a lot more money for your home because of these few reasons that I'm about to go over. What's up guys, this is Enrique PRG Real Estate brokered by EXP and our team services the Silicon Valley. We work with a lot of buyers and we've been very successful in helping buyers you know, get their offer accepted and get into the home of their dreams. But oftentimes I see buyers end up paying a lot more money because of a few things. Now, let me give you some background. Right now we're in a really, really hot market where we have limited inventory um, and the prices are constantly rising every single week. So for example, you get a home that gets listed on the market on a Monday, by Friday you got multiple offers and by Sunday the property, they accepted an offer way over the asking price because there's a bidding war. So really you guys, what we're going up against is time right now. The longer it takes for you to secure a home, the more you're gonna end up paying for that same house because the prices are constantly rising. So what are the, some of the reasons why buyers aren't getting their offers accepted in the first place, um, you know, besides the competition? The competition is the competition, but there are other factors that are, are going into this. So number one is I see a lot of buyers who are just testing the waters. Um, they wanna buy a home, they go out there, they see a home that they like, and they just really kind of put an offer in just to kind of see what happens. They're not really committed to that property. You know, they're not really putting an offer in so that they can win, so that they can blow the other offers out of the water. They're kind of just testing the waters, you know, and, and seeing what will happen. Now, when you go into it like that, the chances of your offer getting accepted, if you're just kind of testing the waters are very slim. So that means if you miss out on that property and now you're back to searching for homes, in between that time, the prices of homes went up. Um, another thing is I see that a lot of buyers, they still haven't narrowed down what their criteria is. You have the husband who wants one type of home, the wife who has one type of home, and there's a misalignment in the criteria there. So then what happens is you end up going out with your agent and you're looking at 20, 30, 40 homes and you can't decide on which home to pick. You know, so when you finally do get around to picking a home, all that time has gone by and guess what? The prices are higher by that point, right? So it's really important that you really, really narrow down what your criteria is, what your must haves are, what's absolutely non-negotiable um, so that you could be on the same page with whoever's buying that home. So ultimately you can focus only on homes that you really are gonna want, that you're really gonna wanna make an offer on and you can get into a home sooner. Now, the last thing guys that I'm gonna give you guys is that I see this all the time, um, is that a lot of buyers do not listen to their realtor, right? You may have done this whole process of interviewing realtors and, and you finally pick the one that you wanna work with and they have great reviews and a great track record and they've helped out many clients. Maybe they were referred to you by someone else that had some success. But then when it comes down to it, the client is not listening to the recommendations of the realtor. You see, a good realtor is gonna know the market, they're gonna understand the market trends, they're gonna know how much homes are going over asking, they're gonna call the listing agent to find out where the offer needs to be at or what the competition is like. So they're doing all this legwork and all this homework so that they can go back and prepare their client uh, for the best possibility of winning, the best possibility of getting their offer accepted. So it's important that if you're gonna trust a realtor and you're gonna pick a realtor, you have to go off of their recommendations and you have to follow their advice so that you can ultimately have the best chances of getting your offer accepted. The sooner you can do that, which it'll mean you're gonna get into a home sooner, it'll mean you're gonna ultimately save money because as we know, prices are going up and the longer it takes for you to buy a house, you now paid a lot more money for that same home. So I hope this sheds some insight guys on maybe different ways to look at the process of buying a home uh, so that you don't make these crucial mistakes that we've seen a lot of buyers make and we can get you into a home sooner and ultimately save you money in the long run. I'm Enrique, PRG Real Estate, EXP Realty. Let me know if you guys need anything. Have a great day.